James, that's for Pro Boxing fans. Delighted to join with Archie Sharp. Archie, how you doing? Yeah, lovely, thanks. How are you? Good stuff, yeah, very well, thank you, mate. Oh. Uh, here today, Danny Jim and me goes, had a little open workout day with the kids. Yeah, yeah, we did, it was good. I'm glad um, camp's starting up now, so it was nice to just break into the camp and having a nice little open workout for the gym. It's good, it's good to get the kids active as well. Absolutely. What's it like doing these things for these kids and that being the role model that they need? Do you know what? It's uh it's over the moon really because it's nice to see that people appreciate what I'm doing at the minute. Um, and they and they love it, so it's good to see them. I'm glad that they're enjoying it. For me, at first I was a bit new, but I'm all new to it. I was a bit like, oh, they want to see me, but uh, yeah, now I'm doing it. It's just good. I, I really enjoy it. The kids love it. There's loads of videos that we posted on my social media, and everyone can see everyone jumping in, having a good old, good old time. So um, no, I'm glad. They, I'm glad they're going to enjoy it. That's it. It's not your normal come down, mate. You get a few bit signed. You, you know, they're taking part. You you training for them with them, is that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's they jumped in the ring, done some shadow boxing, done some pads. Some beat me up in the old body sparring. Um, so yeah, it's good for him, and then someone is signed stuff, so it's nice to be able to fight with a belt and, and bits and bobs. Now, I wanted to sort of look forward as well, uh, MTK Academies, you're involved with that, and um, there'll be an announcement on that next week. What, what's that involved again? It's more sort of people starting out in the sport. What's that, from your point of view again, to help out? Yeah, so I think it's to, to get the young kids coming through, and to, I think, but I believe so, is to get an education in the um, in the sport for like going for the personal, uh, for the boxing licenses and things like that. So uh, I think it's a great idea, um, and I think, I, I do believe it's been really big, and the MTK are doing some big things at the minute. So that is in uh, Sup Town Wednesday. So stay tuned to my Instagram and I can update everyone where, if not mine, MTK, because off the top of my head, I don't know where it is. I think it's Soho somewhere. Soho, that's it. Um, again, how important is it for kids with this street crime, knife crime these days? You know, how important is boxing? Our boxing is very, very important. Like, the thing is with me, um, if I weren't in the boxing, then I'd have chose other routes in life and who knows where I'd be. Now. I definitely won't be in a position where I am now so it's very important it's very easy to go down the wrong paths we just got to keep keep the gyms open and welcome everyone in and and keep keep them off the streets that's, that's the biggest and most important thing I can't believe it shocks me you know what hearing a knife crime now on the news every morning I'm doing it. it's it's like as if it's normal now someone's getting killed or stabbed um, I've lost friends over it as well so it's um, it's a shame really and just hopefully we can get as many people in the gyms and stay off the streets for those who might be contemplating it and not make that first step into the gym, what advice would you give them to push yourself to go in that first time? So the thing is, I think what people, they, they think going in the gym, because from my opinion, I think when people are out on the streets and they've got a bit of a reputation, a bit of a name, when they go into a boxing gym, they know everyone's training, they want to fight, I think they're a little bit like intimidated, if you like. But if you just go in there, it's not like that. Like, especially look, look at our gym. You can't. You was down here today. You can see everyone is more than welcome to come. Um, it's great to have as many people in as possible. We welcome everyone, and just just to get involved and get, go, take that step and do it because you, you'll be the best step that you take. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, now talk about yourself and your boxing career last year. Good yes. year for yourself. A very yeah. busy year, wasn't it? Very busy year, Absolutely. very active. How's it going from your point of view? Happy? Yeah, over the moon. So I had a nice rest over Christmas, I enjoyed that. I am now back. I'm looking to get out, hopefully in April sort of time. Um, there's no dates actually set yet, but there's rumours. So I'm now ranked third in the WBO world ranking. So we are chasing that number one spot this year to fill the world title, hopefully within the next 12 months. So we're definitely on course for a big year. Last year was very active, fought some very good opponents. So yeah, I'm over the moon, I'm over the moon. So you fought in December, you fought against Ramnas. What how was he in the ring, you know, what's he what did he pose, what threat did he pose to you? Do you know what? To be honest with you, I didn't think there was gonna be much threat at this start, but do you know as he, he very tough opponent, good good opponent as well, and it turns out that he had a major amateur career. Because everyone knows there was a last minute there was kind of a last minute fight chucked in. So um Obviously he's in camp all year round, he's the same as me, fit, stay strong, ready to go in, whenever. Uh, so he's obviously had to call up, he's jumped in and as everyone can see from the fight, he was definitely there to try and come and take that belt. So which is good, so he was in there, it can be a very competitive fight. 
I watched the fight back. I think I won eight, nine, maybe ten rounds. Um, anyway, so I definitely won the fight. Clear, but it was hard work doing so. So that was good, especially towards the end of the year. A bit tired and that. We got through. We got the win, and I think it sets me up great to um, for 2020. You mentioned that you are ranked number three in the WBO now. Last time we spoke in December, we were talking. Your name's always thrown in the mix of the British title. Yeah. What's your vision and what's your aim for 2020? So for me, my aim is literally just to keep focusing on that WBO world ranking. Um, there's a couple, there's some things happening in the pipeline. I reckon within the next 12 months, you'll see me fighting for a world title for sure. So um, yeah, I just keep my eye on that prize. Have a look at what fights we've got coming up this year, seeing what what belts are about. And we just keep focus on that world title shot. It's happening. It's hundred percent happening. It's nearly here. It's nearly here. It's about being patient and literally getting the right sparring. I'm in talks at the minute. I, sh I might be going out to spar with Vasil Lomachenko um, in March. So we're just waiting. If the, if his camp and my camp work out, then um, then it looks like that's what's going to be happening. So it'd be great to get in the ring with one of the best pound for pound of all time. Absolutely. Some experience that'll be. It's quite. Good. You mentioned that pound for pounds. Let's talk about your top three. Who makes your top three pound? Pound. Well, in all weights, yeah. worldwide. Yeah. Vasil Lomachenko, obviously. Uh, number one. Uh, do you know what? I will put him number one. Yeah, I'll put him number one. And then I've got Canelo Alvarez. And third, do you know what? There's so many great fighters out there, isn't there? Now you put me on the spot. <laughs> now you put me on the spot. Give me, a, give me a clue. Who would you, who would you have? Usually, it's a new way or Crawford. Crawford, yes. Errol Spence is a bit of a good fighter as well. Obviously, I know what's happened with him, but his last fight's been... And I like Mikey Garcia. There's a lot of great fighters out there. I can't, it's hard to even put them in an order because uh, I'm a big fan of a lot of fighters out there. So we'll, we'll go with Errol Spence. Uh, yeah, Errol Spence I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with like Vassal Lomachenko and uh, Canelo Alvarez. Fantastic. And final question. Uh, it's a prediction. Big fight coming up. Tyson Fury, do you want to say Wilder? Well Break it down. Yeah. See what I'm saying? There's another great fighter, Tyson. What a great fighter he is. See? Uh, Tyson Fury, I break it down. I believe he's going to go with a new tactic. I think he's going to. I believe he's going to stop. Um, I believe he's going to stop him, you know? What do you think? I think they've both got to change something. First round, first fight was a draw. Yeah. Is this going to stop him? I think so. Do you know what? I've heard from I've heard from a few people in the camp yeah, that they're training to go and, to blow him away. So uh, listen, I'm a very very great fan of uh, Tyson Fury. I backed him even when he was out of the boxing. I said when he comes back, he beats Deontay Wilder, he beats uh, AJ, he beats all of them. I said that. From three, four years ago, so, um, and he's done exactly what he said he done. You say you beat AJ, how big a fight is that Fury AJ, if it happens? I don't think it's a major fight in this regard. I think he scores AJ, I really do. I really, really, really think he does school him. Um, and I think, I think, do you want to know uh, stops AJ as well. So, I'm, I've never been a major fan of AJ. Great fighter, and listen, he's achieved a lot, and he's earned a fair, fair few quid. So you can't blame the man. So good luck to him, and I wish him all the best. Uh, but uh, I'm not a great, great um, boxing fan of him. I think the other, the, the two main are Wilder and um, Fury. Artie Sharp, thank you for your time. We've been pro boxing fans. Thank you.